In this day and age of plug and play electronics, if everything's working properly and communicating well, it can appear to the consumer that your new purchase of a mouse, keyboard, USB device, or printer speaks the same language as your personal computer. However, this couldn't be further from the truth. Each of these plug and play devices speaks its own language and communicates with your main terminal through a universal translator. If all this sounds confusing to you, you're in the right place. This is what we're going to cover today in this video. Hi, I'm Evan. I'm a business consultant at Strategic Technology Partners. And in my role, I collaborate with businesses all over the Metroplex and often coordinate with multiple teams within a given organization. Today, we will learn about print drivers. What are they? What types are available? And how you can make sure you have selected and installed the best driver for your situation. Drivers are used by almost all hardware devices to communicate with the central terminal and understand the user's specific commands. Now remember way back when, that universal translator from the Star Trek franchise that allowed Captain Kirk to speak with the Klingon aliens? If you imagine that scenario, you'll understand more fully the role of a driver. Your personal computer, for instance, might be a Toshiba, and your mouse might be a Logitech, and your printer is a Xerox. In order for each of these alien races to communicate, they need a translator. And that is the function of the print driver. Now, there are two types of print drivers commonly used today. These are printer command language drivers and postscript drivers. Now, the printer command language driver, or PCL, was developed in the 1980s and is considered to be an industry standard for print drivers. And PCL is commonly used for text printing and some vector graphics and is supported by many different PC operating systems, but it is not compatible with Mac working environments. The PostScript, or PS printer driver, is another common printing language used by many different printer manufacturers. PS drivers are more comprehensive and resolve the issue of differing results by creating all of the print data itself during the communication process. This means that the graphics are more detailed and text files will have an identical format across different systems. First off, when selecting your driver, you should almost always go with a driver from the manufacturer of your device. Each device has several specific functions that work best when you use the driver specifically designed to help your device communicate. However, if your device is not functioning properly, you might want to consider using a universal driver from another manufacturer. This would include drivers like Xerox's Global Print or HP's Universal Print. Both of these are excellent drivers, but they will not offer the same functionality and personalization available from using the specific driver designed for your device. Updating your driver is typically a pretty simple process, and the newest and best drivers can usually be found with a simple web search or by looking on the website of the device manufacturer. Now that you know more about drivers and what they do, take a second and make sure that your drivers are optimized with a quick update. If you're still having trouble with your printer after running a quick update on your driver, reach out to us, give us a call or contact us on our website, and we'll be happy to help.